Let's go, my loves. Mang dog grocery. Kasi yung pinunta talaga namin dito is bread. It's fresh, yeah. Found fish there. Where? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, shall we get one? Ah, tingnan niyo yung Easter nila, Easter yeah, egg na kasel na. Oh, the peanut butter on uh. that, that's why. My dose to clear. Oh, you don't like peanut butter, don't you? No. Oh, let's have a look. Wala na dito. Bibili tayo ng karni mga loves. Wala silang pork belly. Ah, dito. Nandito yung pork belly. Ay, ayaw ko to. Ayaw ko yan. Ito na lang. Yan na lang. Here. Pumunta kami sa Tesco mga loves para mang grocery at ayun yung aking sinampay No, not quite hot Ay, naku naman yung uniform ko Buti na lang, hindi masyadong basa yung uniform ko Sorry, hon Okay. And as usual, hindi ako nag-vlog nung nandoon kami sa Tesco. Well, nag-vlog ako ng kaunti, pero tumigil ako kasi napapamusic siya nga. Sabi na po, nandito ng gabi mga loves. And the days are getting longer. Mili kami ng dalawang ganito. Kasi, tag 20 pence lang yung isa. Naka-reduce na siya ba? So, yung isa, eh, lalagay ko siya sa freezer. Then, yung isa, kagamitin namin tomorrow. Kasi, mag-bolonis kami tomorrow. Parang, oh, weird talaga sabihin na bound up. Sabihin ko na bolonis. Kasi nasanay ako na i-pronounce yun na bulognis. <laughs> Taglitili na pasta yung mga gamitin ko. I'm not sure kung enough pa ba. Kaya ayun, bumili na lang ako. Bread! Kasi ngayon Saturday, kung Saturday or Sunday, I don't know yet. Um, depends on the weather, but pupunta dito sa Steve para tumawa na si Mr. para sa wool, para sa paggawa ng external wool. So, yun yung bread na gagamitin natin. Si Steve, magkasawa na yun. Kasi, pag, pag pumupunta yan dito, puros kanyan lang talaga yung pinapakain ko. Yung madalian ba? Okay, so, some stretching. Ay! <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko na isa-isahin mga palanggay yung mga pinamili namin kasi sino naman? Pineapple Hey, pa Hey You okay there? <laughs> Tingnan ito. Nakasil din yung hot cross buns. Kasi normally, yung price ng hot cross buns, 160. 54 pins na lang. You know. Okay. Well, I think we got plenty. Hello! Good morning! Good morning mga palangga! So, si Mr. Earlier this morning, he went out to get the shower kasi we've ordered this 
yesterday and yeah sabi doon sa website it has arrived so mister has to pick this up on the shop so shower para sa doon sa kennel ba kung saan nakatira si pipa noon kasi gagawin yung shower Where's the tape? Whoa! It's chrome. That's good. At least it's not plastic so that it will not rust or... It's your first head. It's your hand head. That's plastic. That's in the way. That's the pipe for that. Yeah. And that will do the... Uh, yeah, just adjusting the water pressure or... Yeah, just for the different which holes for. Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. With what you got? Mumurahin lang yung binili namin mga loves kasi shower lang naman yun sa ano, sa kennel. At hindi naman namin gagamitin everyday. What else? What's in what's in that box? It's probably in there. Yeah, the I know what you mean. Yung pinaka shower talaga. Yeah, kasi tingnan niyo. Ah, uh, yeah, probably underneath. Kasi the shower should be Yeah. Should look like this, you know. Yan. Ah, here. The shower head. There you go. That's what you're looking for. Missing. You're missing. <laughs> the important part is missing. So, yun lang mga loves. Anyway, ay wala na masyadong tubig dito. Kasi kanina umaang ito. Meron pa ding tubig. You know, doon sa field. Pero kanina umaga talaga yung tubig is running from there talaga. Makikita mo talaga na ano pa ba. Sobrang lakas ng baha. Ito na tayo ng hapunan. So, yung hapunan natin ngayon is bolognese. So, yung oven ko lang ito. Pakadefrost na ito. So, madali na itong lutuin. Mga 12 minutes lang ito. Okay na yun. So, dahil improvise lang itong ating garlic bread. So, ang gagawin ko, maghihiwa tayo ng garlic very finely and then imimix natin siya sa butter and then i-spread natin siya sa bread. Hindi ko mahanap yung masher ko mga loves. Meron akong garlic masher but I don't know where it is. So, mano-mano na lang. Hiniginaw talaga ako ang lakas. Lakas ng hangin. At ano pa din. Medyo umaambong. Ay, naku naman. Pero alam niyo, tomorrow, sabi sa weather forecast, we will have 17 degrees. So, I don't know if magkakatotoo ba kasi yung weather talaga nila dito very unreliable. Narinig niyo ba yan? 
yung hangin. Pukha lang tayo dito ng butter. Pulo na siya, so ilalagay ko na ito. Ito na yung bolognese natin. Yan na. Enjoy, mister! I will. Can I go? Okay. You got plenty of meatballs there and look at mine! Nothing! Well, it's you, underneath. Don't give me luck. I know you've got balls there. <laughs> Bye, enjoy. Yes, buddy. Come on now. We're gonna go upstairs because I kailangan to practice sa aking Oski. So I got Oski this 16th of April. So we need to practice mga loves and I'll take you with me. So meet my patient. This is my patient. Her name is Gloria. Gloria Smith. There you go. That's Gloria Smith. And these are my equipments. So, kailangan na nating mag-improvise. <laughs> Kasi, I've asked Mr. to be my patient, but ayaw niyo mga loves. And I don't think I will take him seriously. Kasi, I think I will be just laughing. So, I need to practice because this is a 20-minute OSCE exam. And, yeah. I need to get used to it. So, shall we begin? Oh, kailangan ko yung tripod ko. Wait lang. I'm going to approach my patient, but before doing so, I'm going to check the environment. I can see that there's no obstruction or spillages that could cause me to trip. I'm happy to proceed. I'm going to close the curtain to ensure privacy for my patient. Hello, good morning. Is that Gloria? Hello, Gloria. My name is Mia. I'm one of the registered nurse. I'll be looking after you today. So, I'm just gonna wash my hands and put my gloves and apron on and I'll be back. I'm going to wash my hands according to the WHO guidelines for 30 seconds. I've washed my hands and I'm gonna put my gloves and apron on. I got them on. Hello, I'm back. So, once again, my name is Mia. So, Gloria, I'll be asking a few questions and I'm gonna be doing an A to E assessment. So, basically... That E to E assessment is a head to toe examination. So I'll be assessing your airway, breathing, circulation, disability, and exposure, as well as taking your vital signs, which is your blood pressure, respiratory rate, oxygen saturation, temperature, and your pulse rate. Is that okay? All right. But before doing that, can I just confirm your? Full name and date of birth. I'll just have to check it against your wristband and my documentation. Okay, please state your full name and date of birth. Okay, and your RTX is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can confirm that I, I am with the right patient. Okay, so Gloria, I've heard that you fell at work. So could you please tell me more about it? Okay, <laughs> 
Thank you so much for your cooperation for today, Gloria. So, si Gloria, mga loves, wala talaga tong kareklamo-reklamo and she is my best patient kasi, of course, hindi nagre-reklamo. Yan yung mga gusto ko sa pasyente ko, mga loves. <laughs> Sino pong may ayaw nun, ha? Anyway, yung exam nga namin is... Um, 20 minutes exam siya. So, on the day sa exam, they will give us a situation and then we need to conduct an A to E assessment. And, kailangan ko ding mag-chart sa news. And then, kailangan ko siyang i-hand over using a S bar. And, yeah, hindi sila masyadong istrikto sa OSCE nila mga palangga kumpara sa OSCE na tinitake ng mga nurses dito. Kasi, ang pagkakaalam ko, yung OSCE na yun, Sobrang strict stricto daw. Sa amin, stricto naman in a way, pero hindi talaga hindi talaga sila mahigpit. As long as na yung golden rule sila, as long as you check the identity of the patient, check their allergy and you wash your hands, papasa ka talaga sa exam. So, like sa hand hygiene namin, um, you actually don't need to do it and you don't need to show the step sa hand hygiene mga palangga. As long as na sinabi mo siya out loud na you wash your hands and you put your apron and gloves on, you are okay with that. So, yun. Yun yung sabi nila. But, kasi, nakakasib kasi siya ng time mga palangga pag hindi mo siya gagawin kasi yun na nga 20 minutes exam lang. And, of course, 20 minutes exam doing an A to E assessment you know, you need more time, realistically. So, and we don't know kung ano yung ibibigay na sitwasyon nila. Kaya, that's why you need to be mindful sa time. So, hopefully, papasa tayo mga loves. Fingers crossed. So, meron pa akong tatlong assignment na kailangan gawin. And one, Oski. So, medyo stress ako. Anyway, mga loves. Meron akong kwento sa inyo. Naawa ako kay Ate Liza at Paul. Kasi sinubok talaga sila ng panahon mga loves. So, si Ate Liza at Paul, sila yung kaibigan na nakasama namin sa Palawan. So, they are in the middle of getting all the requirements para mag-apply sana ng visa. Ikaso mga loves, yung bahay ni Ate Liza na sunog. They are okay. Thanks God. Okay sila lahat. Pero wala talagang natira sa bahay na nila Ate Liza. Pati passport niya, wala. Wala talagang natira mga palangga. Kaya ngayon, back to zero. She's getting all her requirements. Pumunta siya sa DFA para kumuha ng passport ulit. So yeah, pagsubok nila yun. Kung love talaga nila yung isa't isa, they will not give up on each other. And they need to hold on to each other. And I'm pretty sure, kung gagawin nila yun, they will be together soon. So, Ate Liza, kung nanonood ka, kapit lang, and maniwala ka lang sa itaas na pagsubok lang yan. 